What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we managed to uh, get ourselves a squirt bottle, visit uh, Route 35, find out that, hey, you know, the bu Pokemon bug, can bug catching contest is no more. It actually moved to the Orange Islands, and uh, we figured something out about IVs, EVs, and all that stuff. Yeah, that kind of stuff that I really don't pay attention to. Uh, comment down below if I should really pay attention to that stuff if I want to go competitive or something. I don't know. And, and we managed to cap capture ourselves another Pokemon, which is uh, Butt Kiss right here, the uh, the Growlithe. Now, I've always wanted to use one on my team, and here we are in the National Park. And uh, I believe we're going to be attacked by a few uh, trainers. We're going to get some items here along the way. Let's see. I get, I get the other guy's Pokedex sticker if I win. Hmm. I'm playing for stickers. Okay, so they're still talking about the stickers that you can actually, uh, the stickers that, you know, you once could print out back in the day. Now, this lady right here, of course, she's a teacher, and, uh, since we're working hard, I want you to have this. She will give us a quick law, and that is for any kind of slow Pokemon that you may have. Actually, like, she would strike first, and, uh, nothing right there. Nothing right there. What do you have to say? Take walks in the parks, but never go into the grass because the trainers want to battle. Okay, so we're going to be battling quite a few trainers. Speed button along the way, that kind of stuff. My Pokemon are simply, or are simply darling. Let me tell you how proud of my po my darlings I make me. Okay, whatever. So here we go, another Pokemon battle against Pokefan Beverly, and she will be coming out with her Snubble. Snubble, and here we go with Buttkiss the Growlithe. And uh, I may have made the mistake right here because it is raining right now, and uh, that happened. And, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Irwin and uh, take care of this whole situation right now. So let's go ahead and press that speed button. And, uh, yes, you gotta love the... You gotta love that whole, uh, whatchamacallit, charm attack right there. So she, is, she only has one Pokemon right now. And uh, me being curious again, I'm going to check out what Pokemon you could find here. And wow, you can actually find Talo here. Okay. This may this might actually change my view on a little bit, on a few things. And here we have Metapod. Okay, and uh, well, let's see. You gotta love hack games, guys, because uh, this actually, this actually, whatchamacallit, uh, lets me explore the place while I'm talking to you guys, too. Of course, I'm doing this hack game because... Uh, Never really played a hack game before. Uh, COVID-19, of course, have... Ooh, look at that! It ran! <laughs> of course, uh, what was it? COVID-19. The infamous coronavirus has put us all, or has thawed the world for just a little bit. So, since I do have enough time on my hands, I might as well come out with a hack game while I'm at it. It's not going to be my main thing, but, you know, at least I will have a hack game out there. That way... I can show you guys how to how to play this game, and of course I didn't name nickname the Pokemon uh, my uh, Nidoran male because hey, you know I'm not really gonna use them on my team and stuff. So let's see. Look, check out my bag. I printed out my favorite Pokedex. Okay, so they're still talking about the Pokemon that you could actually print out back in the system right there. But yes, uh, COVID-19 can go suck a dick. It really can. Because right now I'm not too happy with uh, with being stalled. I mean, a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are at school. A lot of you guys may be working, and uh, for the for whatever country or whatever region your guys are at, and it, it, it got stopped, paused, it got put on a shutdown, or everything like that, it sucks. It really does. And you know, you kind of you kind of got you or you kind of get used to the whole uh, routine area of things. And just this this whole disease right here just really it really puts a damper on our routine. And of course, like I said personal trainer can't do anything at gyms because of course my my uh my uh what was it my job is not really essential so yeah that's kind of a big uh that's kind of a big damper on me but the thing is the, the good thing is that you know i saved up on money i shouldn't be worried about that the only thing is that you know i really really hope that this whole disease comes uh like passes by like it, it just it, the whole shutdown just ends because i'm getting really annoyed not annoyed by doing this, but just annoyed being stalled and staying at home most of the time just because of this. And, uh, why am I not using the speed button? I don't know. I'm, like, I'm struggling right now against this Oddish right here. And, uh, yeah, this Oddish will not let me attack it. There we go, but because come on. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Okay, and, uh, well, 
now that I'm talking right now, let's see, uh, hope you guys are enjoying my Pokemon Black walkthrough as well, because, uh, it just came out, and, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a while, it was almost a month ago since I announced that, it, uh, or I gave you guys the option of picking what, uh, what starter I should use, of course, right here, never really gave you the option, mainly because you guys didn't see it coming, so that's, uh, that's another thing right there, and, uh, well, hopefully you guys are enjoying this walkthrough right here, of course, it's not the most conventional way that I'm uh, actually completing it. Uh, normally I go step by step by the rules and all that stuff, but right here of course we already know that I'm using the other uh, uh, unconventional ways to actually beat this game since I've never really played it. Plus it's a hack game guys. It's made by other people, don't really care how I play this, I just want to want to try it out. And maybe next time, if ever I get the chance to play it again, maybe I should uh, maybe I'll do it the, the right way or whatever. And uh, crud. Of course, these Pokemon trainers love to use their, uh, their, their, uh, whatchamacallit, their items, their healing items. It's like the first for me, and right now, I am not, I am not attacking, because this is annoying right now. Of course, I'm using the speed button right here, too, giving you guys more of a speed, uh, showing you guys the speed button. I don't know if it's gonna mess with my, uh, with my, whatchamacallit, my, well, with the, the song back, the back, the background song, or the background voice, or whatever. Really don't know, really don't care. <laughs> so let's see, trainer tips, mail, pressing, okay. And then, uh, mail from the daughter cheers me up. Okay, so we already beat that guy, or that chick. And, uh, okay, so these guys are talking about the Pokédex, the, the stuff that you can print. If you guys remember, back in, when Pokémon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow came out, the Pokémon, or the uh, Nintendo printer came out as well, don't have that, never use that, but you can actually create stickers out of them too. And then, uh, yeah, that was back in the day. Now, trying to find one of those suckers, it's, it's, it's like finding gold or a diamond in the rough. And here we found the TM-28, which is Dig. Always good. And, uh, well, let us move on right here. And uh, continue on with this whole thing right here. Let's see. We've already visited this whole place. And we caught our Pokemon, which we will rename eventually. And... Uh, well, here we are in the other area, and uh, let's see, some Pokemon can only be seen in the park. Okay, so right here you can't do the Pokemon contest. We're gonna have to wait until the Orange Islands, which, you know, I can't wait to do. I mean, one of the things that I, I, I kind of wanted to do for quite some time right there. And, uh, well, there it is. Got the Rosberry, and uh, we got a Pokemon trainer waiting for us right here. So let's see what you got. I'm going to read your thoughts. No, you're not, because I'm going to be using the speed button. Look at that. Alrighty, let's go with a bite attack right there. Again, a lot of these Pokemon trainers' just Pokemon are just souped up and they like to use their, uh... They love to use... Oh, crud. I forgot about that. They love to use their healing items, so that's one of the biggest things that really caught me off for a loop right there. So here we go, bite attack. And let's continue on again. There we go. Abra. Kadabra. Eat this bite. Look at that. Gonna do it again. And bite attack. There we go. Alrighty, so there we go. Defeated Marcus, and he misread me completely. So, Buckets is doing all right. And uh, let's see, let's see what Pokemon you can find right here. Ratata, Ratata, -ta -ta. and uh, another Ratata, -ta -ta. Akuma Ratata. -ta. I wonder, I wonder what happens when Suicune comes out. Will it do the same thing? I don't know. All right, let's see what we can do. Thanks to my studies, I can read. Uh, I can. Re I'm ready to battle any Pokemon. Okay. All right. So here we go. Another battle against another trainer named Schoolboy Allen from Hoenn, and he will be coming out with a Tangela. And but guess right here is uh, looking like a a very good dog, a very good doggy right here. So we're going to be using Ember. Not going to be super effective or as effective as uh, it is right now because it's raining. And uh, well, here comes that growth attack trying to stu uh, boost up its special attack, and uh, yeah, still raining, still freaking raining, so here we go, Amber attack for the win, yes sir, Baba. Now, I wonder what level that pseudo Wudo is, and uh, well, look at that, corruption. Now, I never really got anybody's phone numbers, but this guy, okay, so he's not going to give us phone numbers, okay, so we finally reached the pseudo Wudo right here, and uh, let's see, the weird, let's use a squirt bottle, doesn't like the squirt bottle, and he will attack us. Okay, so here it is, guys. That mystery Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo at level 20. And, uh, well, we're gonna try and capture this guy. 
And let's go with an Ember attack right here. Of course, it is a rock type Pokemon, and uh, yeah, it's yeah, we're gonna have to really hit this guy hard, so. Here's the rain. I, I know Buckus does not like the rain, so here we go with the bite attack. And uh, you know what? Speed button. Speed button right here. Let's go with another bite. Continue with the bite. There we go. And you know what? We're probably going to have to go with this. Okay. Oh, crud. Didn't see that coming. Okay. So Buckus got fainted. Let's go with smoke right here. And uh, okay. So let's use hypnosis. Alrighty. Alrighty. And. Let's go right ahead and use an Ultra or a Great Ball. And there you go. We caught ourselves a Pseudo Wudo. Look at that. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. And here we have Pseudo Wudo. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so it will disappear if it starts raining. Why didn't it. Okay, so it's raining. How did it not disappear? That is a. That is a. Like, that is a catch 22 right there. I think. I don't even know. Okay, so Draven dropped the squirt bottle after the battle, and no more Sudowoodo, and after that, I just wanted to thank you for clearing this path. Please accept this gift as my thanks, and here we have the Berry Growing Starter Kit, something new. With that kit, you can now grow berries by planting them in some uh, soil and watering them. That kit contains berries and a Whalmer pad for your, or Whalmer pail for watering your, your berries. Oh, I almost forgot. And, uh, okay, so, uh, this is what's weird to me, because back before when I almost hit Azalea Town, I watered a berry. I literally watered a berry with a Wilmer pad that I didn't have. I wanted to, I want to know what the hell is going on right here. I want to find the Wilmer pad so that it produces its berries feeding water. With my recipe, the berries will grow super fast. Thank, thanks again. See you. Okay, so... <laughs> I want to know about that, and uh, let's see. I wonder if you talk to this guy. Okay, yes, I'm impressed. I want you give you, want to give you this. He gives us the HMO6, which I believe is Rock Smash. Yes, it is Rock Smash, and uh, yeah, it's a move that we really, really don't like, don't want. And uh, whoa, what is going on right here? Where is your leader? I said, where is your leader? Oh damn! I don't know. Please don't hurt us. Forget this guy. We need to do our mission. That professor lives in New Park Town, right? Yeah. You better get going. Axel's all like, hey, get, come back. The hell? Damn it. They got away. I'll let them slip through my fingers again. Hey, it's you again. Draven, right? Well, I need to get I need to go to New Park Town. Maybe their leader is there. What? That's your hometown? Then you better get down there too. You better go on ahead and I'll meet you there. Oh, damn. Okay, so I was actually thinking of going to Agritech City, but this is something new, which I will be exploring in a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. How many episodes did I do? Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to pause this for a bit. Okay, so I realized that I did 14 episodes. This is actually 14 episodes. So in the next episode, we will be going to New Bark Town. This is uh, something pretty new, especially in a hat game. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, Zane, or whatever your name, Axel, yes. I will be seeing you at New Bark Town. See